Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over uh, data fetching with uh, Nuxt.js. If you don't know Nuxt, it's basically a server-side render framework for Vue.js. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, there's plenty of resources out there. But this is just going to go over how we do data fetching within Nuxt. So this is uh, from the Nuxt docs right here. This gives you a little look into the lifecycle hooks uh, within Nuxt. So it's a great resource, check it out. There'll be a link in the description to this, but this is just gonna go over where um, within this life cycle we'll end up fetching the data from. So if we come down here, you'll see that there's two different ways that you fetch data within Nuxt. Uh, one of them is called async data and the other one's just called fetch right now. So if we look at this chart right here, we'll see that async data is called every time before loading the page components. And that's another thing to note is that with async data, you're only going to be able to use this within pages, not within uh, components or other folders. So that's one thing uh, to keep in mind, the difference between the two. So this will be called after uh, validate and the server is initialized and we take a look at the uh, middleware and whatnot. Uh, and then after async data, you could potentially call async data here and then uh, create it and then we get to fetch here. So you can see kind of how that all works. So you can see with fetch, it's called after um, the instance is created right here. So this might be a little bit abstract. Um, so let's take a look at some actual code. Uh, another thing of note with uh, fetch, this context is gonna be available only within fetch and not within async data. So you will not have access within async data to uh, the uh, this context. All right, so that's enough of that. Uh, let's take a look at some actual code here. All right, so I just have a basic Nux app right here, uh, and we're gonna have uh, one page for fetch and one for async data, so those two things. Uh, let's take a look at fetch right now. So basically, I'm just trying to hit this API right here, get some users and display them to the page like so. So in this first example, you'll see we're using fetch, and then we're just setting this dot users, which we have uh, set right here in our data, to uh, the result of this uh, call to the API right here. Uh, and then finally, if there uh, if it's pending, we're going to show a loading state. Uh, th this uh, fetch state dot pending right here. This is only going to be available within fetch as well, not async data. So keep that in mind. Um, so if it's pending, we're going to show loading and once it's done, so it's not pending, we will show the actual users in a list right here. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. So I got a couple buttons. One's going to make a call to fetch and render that fetch page and one's going to make a call to uh, async data and render that data page there. So if we call fetch here, you see we get this list back here. Let's uh, bump this up a little bit. We get this list of users right there. One thing to note right here with fetch, you'll see a small loading state. So you have that loading, which is very brief here, but depending on what kind of data, how much you had, that loading state could take a little longer. So that's one thing to note. You'll see when we look at async data, you do not have that loading state. So the advantage of fetch right here is if we wanted, we don't have to just use this in pages. So this is uh, gonna be available to us if we want to add this into components, we could come in here and we could use fetch. Whereas with async data, we cannot. Okay, so that's fetch, uh, pretty basic syntax, async fetch, do that, show this to the page. Now, our other method is with async data. So if you come in here, you can see we don't have this uh, pending uh, loading state, but what we do have is the ability to render that data prior to actually showing it to the screen. That's why we don't need the loading screen. So if you don't like that little loading uh, spinner or whatever for a second, uh, async data, if you can use that, may be beneficial for you, but it's gonna really depend on your use case. You're gonna notice a little bit of uh, syntax differences here because we don't have uh, access to this. We're gonna bring in Axios right here or however you wanna fetch your data right there. We're gonna put this in a try catch like this. Uh, and again, set to users, uh, which we've set down here in our data, the result of um, this Axios call to uh, the API. And then, and then return these users, we return it in an object right here. All right, so that is how that is gonna work. Let's just uh, show you the example between the two of them again. So again, we got fetch here, notice that little loading screen, then you get your data. Whereas when we do it with async data like this, You'll see there's no there's no little loading screen or anything like that 
So those are the differences between the two. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's going to depend on your use case, which one you're going to want to use. But uh, yeah, it's good to have knowledge about both of them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.